Hello everyone, Vanguard of Valor here, and welcome back to the Sunless Sea. So far, our journeys have been most illuminating. As we travel around the world again, we're discovering many more things. We've learned that our bandaged poissonnier wants to go down to Khan's heart for some reason. We've also learned that our good companion, the brisk campaigner, suffers from animescence, a burning of the soul and has asked us to acquire some resources to make things a little bit easier for them, so we'll see what we can do. What we're going to do, though, is we're going to head to Codex here first, and we're going to pick up a port report, since it's right on the way. We have a number of challenges facing us now. If we take a look at our map here, we can see kind of the places we need to go. We need to head all the way over to Mount Palmerston to pick up our Wistful Deviless and bring her back to London. We have to go to the Chapel of Lights, because we can use our two live catches to progress the sigil-ridden navigator's story. And that could be interesting. In theory, we also want to go all the way over to the Empire of Hands to pick up our strategic information. From there, we we're going to want to go down to Khan's Heart so we can pick up our knowledge about the uh, Bandaged Poissonnier. And we want to go to the Utter Shroom so we can get a Blemigan if we can get a Firkin of Prisoner's Honey somewhere along the way. And we're probably going to want to go back to Guider's Morn so we can get some Solace Fruit because I'm pretty sure they sell them there. We could try and get them from the Melting Isles where they actually come from, uh, but... Last time we tried that, it didn't go very well for us, and we immediately got wounded, and I'm not super keen on dying, so I'm not want to go back there again right now. But, um, yeah. We have a lot of places to go, so this might be a lot longer a journey than I thought, and our trip to the Salt Lions might have to wait. As much as I would like to head back there and learn a little bit more about the place, and see if maybe things do change as we start removing resources from them, for now, I think it might be smarter to us to accomplish a bunch of different tasks rather than just make one step towards that one. On the other hand, we could try and go a longer path around this way, visiting Bright, heading to the Chapel of Lights, heading to Mount Palmerston, then visiting the Empire of Hands. On the way back, we can head uh, through back this way towards the Salt Lions and head back in, and then we can do a more southern loop and get, a, get whatever, whatever else we need there. So... We'll have to think a little bit more about it as we're getting further away, because it might make more sense for us to not do it all in one go. Right now, though, it's hard to say, because either way could work. For now, we'll make our way to Frostfound. A nice, peaceful place. I should probably spend some of my secrets to increase our attributes here. But, uh, I'm not sure what I want right now. And we'll hold on to some secrets, because they're turns out they're fairly valuable. If we had had none here, our brisk campaigner would simply have disappeared. Let's dock here, though, and visit Frostfound. Create our port report. We can't go in, of course. Our mirrors aren't strong enough. Someday. Someday we will. But for now, no such luck. And since nothing awaits us, we can't visit the squatters here to acquire the free fuel and food that they normally provide. So we'll just sail on. I wonder if we'll find another tyrant moth out here. I wonder. If we do, will, be, will we be as lucky to have a snowstorm to protect us from their constant charges? Because that would have been a very nasty foe had we not been quite so lucky. For now, we'll simply zail away. Nothing's attacking us yet either, which is interesting. There's very little in the north today. We'll see if we discover Mount Nomad again, though, because that... That would be a problem. That would be a problem indeed. Thankfully, our supplies should last us for quite a while. The only problem as well with trying to make the trip to the Salt Lions is that we've picked up some very expensive resources, like the Muter Salt that we've just acquired. And uh, if we were to lose that without being able to do anything with it, that would be quite distressing. If we were forced to throw things overboard, then we'd have a lot harder choices to make now, I suspect. So I think we may not do that for now. We'll see, though.
if we head up to the Abbot Horizon, then we can acquire another port report before heading down to the Chapel of Lights in Mount Palmerston. But, uh... Who knows what we'll encounter along the way. A burning blue. Oh, we could spend our only Z story. Or we could use our 100% hearts challenge there. We've gained a fragment. We've told them that the darkness is being pushed back by the light. But, uh... We can't afford to spend our Z-stories, we have so few of them now, after spending them on salt. No wonder I hadn't acquired any salt before. It is expensive. And I'm kind of glad that we managed to skip having to give one to the Brisk Campaigner just to find out we need another one. Because then we wouldn't have been able to do it anytime soon. That would have made things a lot harder. Plus, we need Z-stories to get into the Fathom King's Hold anyway. So they're... in pretty high demand compared to some of the other resources here. Hello there. We found a lifeberg. Lifebergs, as far as I can tell, have gone down pretty consistently easily. But we're gonna fight it and see how it goes. Fighting using our hotkeys here, it's a little bit smoother than trying to do it any other way. The one thing we have to be careful of is that we don't back into the snowstorm, because if we back into the snowstorm, that's gonna slow us down a lot, and then we are going to get wrecked. Oops, accidentally uh, reversed direction too far there instead of simply stopping. This last shot should kill him, though. Yes, it did. Good. Alright, well, let's investigate the corpse of that lifeberg from Void's approach. What do we have here? We'll gather treasures. Three outlandish artifacts and a hunting trophy. That's a very nice reward. Wow. The dark fragments of Mountain Nomad again, though. Hmm. We could turn those into an heirloom if we want. Might be a little bit wasteful. It might be more useful all in other places, but we have the option now. We can convert them, so we should we so choose. Let's stop in briefly at the Avid Horizon. I guess I'll keep the lights on for now. Acquire our port report from here and keep moving. There we go. We'll dock. We'll make our port report. And we'll sail on. No need to stop for long now. We've been here many a time. We'll get what we came for and keep sailing. We have a very specific goal in mind. Heading down to the Chapel of Lights is the next step. So that we can finally find out what they might know about our sigil-ridden navigator. From there, we have to head to Mount Palmerston and the Empire of Hands, which is a nice, straight little chain of islands we can get to. Should be easy enough. Our supplies are still fine. Overall, I think it should be more or less manageable. Let's swing around the dock. There we go. In the Chapel of Lights, we could eat of the Chapel's bounty, but that always makes me wonder. For now, though, we will gather intelligence here. And uh, we'll follow our sig sigil-ridden navigator. Within the air, the air is heavy and hushed. They say their stores are running low. If we cannot feed our congregation, our mission must end. Can you provide? The fresher the better. Our navigator has nothing. He pleads for our help. Well, we can give him two live specimens. I hope this winds up being worth it, because... It turns out these were pretty tricky to get. The priest gives us a satisfied nod. He whispers a few words over them. A blessing? See them writhe. Our navigator twitches impatiently. The sigil! What does it mean? Who carved it on me? What did I do to deserve it? The smiling priest raises a hand. You are on a journey, my friend. You must take one step at a time. I've seen your sigil before, carved in the ice at Frostfound. Go there. You will answer your first question. That will lead you to the next. The navigator's thanks are muted. He plods back to our ship. Before we leave, the smiling priest gives us a wink. 
interesting. Well, he's been directed to Frostfound. Uh, it's unfortunate, because we just came from there, but at least we know where they want us to go next, so we can deal with that in due time. For now, we'll set sail again and head to Mount Palmerston, where we'll be able to refresh our... Re refresh? Oh, I hope not. Refresh our fuel supplies. And pick up our Wistful Devil-S. Well, thankfully, the burning blue of the Glim Lamp is not a problem. We can calm them quite easily. Our crew must be used to hearing our stories by now. We've told them enough times. For now, it's a simple little ride over to Mount Palmerston. It seems as though there's really not a lot out in the Z to kill us, but this doesn't look good. What is this? A Faustic Corsair. They are moving very fast. I'm not keen on them. Thankfully, it looks like they're not too keen on our attacks either. The problem is, I can't tell how much health they have because they're off screen. So we'll just keep pressing them as much as we can and hope they go down before they manage to do something horrible to us. It looks like they only have side mounted weapons. Ah! Take that! Okay, that was quite the enemy. They took a lot of beating there. But thankfully, since we were able to keep out of their line of fire, we were okay. Well. We've destroyed the Faustic Corsair. We'll investigate the hold and see what they had. We have a cache of curiosity. Surprise, surprise. It's a barrel. Hmm, I bet you that's wine or prisoner's honey. A frickin' of prisoner's honey. That's really handy. This is what they call prisoner's honey. Wrung by the lamplighter bee from the exile's rose. I wonder who made up all these names, remarks Abel Seaman Cargit. Someone who's read a sight too many books, I'm thinking. Well. It worked out in the end. We needed that. That'll be very handy for when we head down to the Utters Room to pick up our Blemigan. So I guess I shouldn't complain. That was a pretty much ideal thing to have dropped. Fantastic. For now, I should try and avoid going around Mount Palmerston and instead sail, sail to it before we run out of resources and fail our journey entirely. I don't think that that little blue ship down there wants to fight us, though. I think they're just a trade vessel. Yep, and they're gone. <laughs> That's how you can tell they're not important. They just fade out of existence. Alright, let's head back over here to Port Palmerston and... Uh, Investigate our charming Devil-S. Wistful Devil-S, rather. Charming Adventuress. Alrighty. Port Palmerston. Welcome back. Okay, we go up to the crater. We could get more independent verification, but I don't think we will. I think we'll just visit the Wistful Devil-S. We can tell the devil else it's time to go. The Brass Embassy has given us the good word. Let's go, she says breathily. The Brimstone invig Invigilators will be here soon. We don't want to meet them. She lifts a single, man-skin valise. This is all I need. Take me back to London. We now have a wistful devil S. Hmm, interesting. She knows the uses of fire, but she's not cut out for the Z. Take her to London and the Brass Embassy. Interesting. Oh, is she an officer? She is. She's a gunnery officer. She gives you one iron. Huh. Can you talk to her? You can. Let's invite her to supper in her quarters and see what she has to say. She slouches unhappily by the rail. The Z air doesn't suit her. It smells clean, she complains. Well, we invite her to supper. What does she have to say? She complains that we have only human spirits, not the cloying, poisonous stuff, the devil's favor, but she drinks it liberally regardless. She seems more wistful than usual regarding her departure from Mount Palmerston, or nervous about what lies ahead. Finally, we realize that she's drunk. She's saying something about the old days. We built our hives on the edge of dream, she slurs, while men were monkeys still. Monkey souls are poor, unripe things. Like this wine of yours. But they serve as consolation. I require consolation, Captain. They do. She looks directly into your eyes. You're very pretty, she says. 
Then she falls down on the remains of her chops and stewed mushrooms and begins to snore. By the time we call assistance to have her taken back to her cabin, her drool has badly charred the tabletop, and the room stinks of charred varnish. Well, we've got ourselves a secret, we've lost a supply, and we've gained a terror. Hmm. Interesting. Well, we've spoken to her now, which is something, at least. Let's chant to the board folk about the Brimstone Convention. There we go. Gain our port report. And while we're here, we'll also quickly buy some more fuel, because we're going to need some, given the feeling I have this voyage is taking. And we'll buy some supplies as well. It's going to be an expensive journey, for sure, but we might as well be prepared for it. Because I have a feeling we're not taking the original plan. We're not going back to the Salt Lions today. We're going to be going a long way around. A long way around, indeed. Oh well. Let's see what we can do. We have plenty of terror to spend. I think we might drop in at Irem. We have nothing to spend there, though. It doesn't make sense. We can take a much shorter route across this way. Down to the Empire of Hands. Although, really, it hardly makes a difference. I'm sure it'll be worth it in the end to have visited at Irem. We can acquire an extra port report, and that will definitely help us on our way. So we'll do that. There might not be much else there for us, but... It would be foolish to pass up a port report when it's so close by. The free fuel and extra echoes will probably pay for the fuel and food it costs to get here. And who knows, there might be other interesting things to do here. Unfortunately, we don't have any coffee. If we had brought coffee, we could get solace fruit here, I think. But I didn't think about it at the time. Irem, the pillared city. Yep, no coffee. We'll compile a port report, though. Take a look in their shops. I don't think they have anything we want to buy, though. They do have sooth and copper long boxes. I might want one of those, actually. It's an expensive way to acquire them, but it's better than not ever getting them, because we still need that heart metal for the, uh... I'll buy a strange catch here, too. It'll make us not have to worry about getting one. There's only 25 echoes. Okay, we'll do a little bit of purchasing here. We'll buy a sooth and copper long box. And we'll also buy a strange catch. We could probably acquire a strange catch if we can just get lucky and find one somewhere in the world. They're not particularly difficult to get. But this way we have one less step to worry about. All we have to get now is the solace fruit and the blemigan, and we already have the resource required to trade for the blemigan, so... Things are looking good for our brisk campaigner. It is too bad, though, that we don't have the ability to get into the dreams. Because trading a coffee for a solace fruit would be much cheaper than doing it any other way. For now, though, we'll head over to the Empire of Hands and make sure we can get anything useful that might be sitting around there. Let us see. Irem is a long way to the north. You don't say! I guess since we've never actually looked at this part and had it be labeled, he doesn't consider us as having discovered it. That's a weird thing. We'll have to make sure we check that out next time. So that Irem gets, gets appropriately labeled and we can get credit for having accurately explored all of the islands. Alright. Empire of Hands, down south we go. Investigate Port Stanton and let's see if we can't acquire our resources here. We dock in place. In Port Stanton, we can, uh... Hmm, interesting. We can attempt to compile our port report, which we should be able to do. Now that the Admiralty has been brought up to date, this will be far quicker, unfortunately less profitable. But we'll do it. Doink. There we go. Gather strategic information. This will give us an intriguing snippet. If we can penetrate the court on Sovereign Island, we'll be able to do better. Okay, well let's uh, let's head into the court then, because that seems much better. Zailing the Empire of Hands. We could go to the Hearthstake Village or Fountainhead Island. Hearthstake Village is the cannibals. We could investigate them, since we've not done this for a little while. Let's go here. The delicious smell of the cannibals' cooking stretches much of the way across the passing. It would make a vegetarian salivate and reach for a fork. Well, we can poison the cannibal pirates, which is probably going to hurt us. Yeah, I don't know about this. The Lost Treasure Hunter. We can talk to him as well. 
Everything is wounds no more than two. Let's talk to the lost treasure hunter. Ahoy! How goes your search? He asks. Find anything. It is a voice that so badly wants the answer to be no. Well, trade a live specimen for a flare? That's awful. Trade stories with the lost treasure hunter. Persuade him to give us his map. Searing Enigma. We have three Searing Enigmas. Why not? We'll, per we'll persuade him to give us his map. Hopefully there's something good in here. He's If he's got a treasure map, we might be able to do something fun. A secret revealed. We bury the treasure, and with a few careful coughs and prods, push the lost treasure hunter towards it. He falls to the ground, digging furiously until he unearths his prize, bright, shining, his gaze pulled into its revelatory core. But soon, his excitement fades. Having found what he thought he wanted, his obsession is over, and the reward merely a bauble, as diminished by being dragged from desire to reality as the face of an angel in mere paint. Sadder still is that once we persuade him to give us the map, it takes but a moment to realize his mistake. It's a fountainhead. The fool had it upside down. Well, we've spent a searing enigma, which is probably very expensive for this treasure map, but we'll see. And we're going to do something very dumb. We're going to, uh... We're going to poison the cannibal pirates. This might wind up with us dying horribly. But let's see what happens. A toast, bellows the boisterous pirate, leading a new round of quaffing from atop the table. To the good captain, to our enduring majesty. May we eat, drink, and be merry, for tomorrow we... His face freezes. His grip on the mug slips. His legs fall limp and he crashes down onto the table. The wood cracks. The bone cutlery flies. He lies, gray-faced, staring you in the eye with a dying look born not of hate, but of the deepest disappointment. Envoys from the Wild Wheeled Court are soon at the scene to collect the supplies and burn down the village. Well, we have 60 supplies for the Zeppelin. Not quite the 100 I was hoping for, but we've gained 8 status, and we've murdered a whole bunch of cannibal pirates. Surprisingly enough, though, nothing bad happened to us. We actually didn't get injured at all. What do you know? Well, let's travel to the Wild Wheeled Court, or perhaps we'll head to the Fountainhead Island. Let's go here first. Why not? The sound of the oars would almost be hypnotic if our arms weren't burning so hard, twith the effort. Well, we can do a treasure hunt here. Why not? We acquired an ancient dish treasure map. Let's go see what happens. Swiftly growing vegetation keeps a thick forest wrapped around variably ancient ruins. Even the yet-to-be-plundered ones are heavily scarred with crowbar marks. Okay. You only have time for one dig attempt per visit. Every time we return to the valley, we'll begin at the correct point for finding the treasure. Okay. The map of the island shows where to begin. The instructions on the back explain the rest. Okay, we have an X and a Y coordinates here. We can go north, east, south, or west. We can explore around and we can dig. A promising bowl of thick trees and occasional bursts of space as silent as lost gold and filled with hiding places. Be sure as you have space in your hold for treasure. Let's consult the map. Okay. North for each city the bats have brought down, then east to the river where no man fears to drown. Venture south for each island the emperor can claim, and west for each bearer of the emperor's name. Head straight for the horizon, and then take a step more, letting west end your search with a one, two, three. Four? I'm not sure if that's three steps or four steps. In the shape of an X, find a seeker misled. Nothing but eternity belongs to the dead. Interesting. Okay, well, I know how many cities the bats have brought down. Uh, Fallen them, then, is the fifth city. Um, I believe. From playing the Fall of London game, I'm pretty sure I've, I've heard it references the fifth city before. So let's go up north five times. One. Okay, we climb over slippery, slimy rocks and continue. Two. Three. Four. Five north. Then it's east. East to the river where no man fears to drown. Let's go east and see if something happens here. Our feet, feet itch as mud leaks into our boots. Let's keep going east until we hit something interesting. Nothing. 
East. A few vines put up some resistance, but not for long. East again, maybe. No, we can't go east anymore. Did I go too many? Let's go south one. And west one. That's west. We go west again. Where is this? That's east. I pushed the wrong one. Looking for this river. I thought it was five cities, but maybe it wasn't. Now I'm pretty thoroughly lost. Well, that's not good, because now I have no idea where we are. But I thought north for each city the bats are brought down. It's the fifth it's the fifth city. East of the river, no man fears to drown. We didn't hit a river. South for each island the Empire can claim. Empire of Hands, they already have two islands. There's three more. Um, so that'd be three south. West for each bearer of the Emperor's name, there are four emperors. Uh, we know he's the, the fourth one, based on the time we saw him earlier. Head straight for the horizon, which is north once, then take a step more as north again. Letting west end your search of the one, two, three, four. We, so I know how to do everything except for apparently how many cities the bats have brought down. <laughs> I think I know all the other steps except for this one. And now I have literally no idea where we are. Let's go... West a little, north a little... We're too far north, probably. I don't know if there's a problem to us just exploring the whole place. Like, I don't know if they're going to do anything about it. A dark corner of the wood. Yeah, something tells me. West goes smaller, okay. Something tells me that we're not going to be able to find our way back to anything now. If we can find that river, then maybe we could do it. Is that the edge of the west? Yes, it is. Man, that was, that's annoying. We got lost real fast. <laughs> we got lost real fast. If I could find a river, then I'd know what to do. I might have even seen it, but didn't look at the right part of the map to know what to do. It looks like it doesn't matter, though. You can kind of just spend as much time in here as you want. Which is weird, but... Yeah, I kind of don't see a problem with this. If we could find the river, then we could do something from there, but I have no idea where the river is. Let's look around a little bit here. This is kind of disappointing. I was looking forward to trying to solve this riddle because I knew what was going on, but I didn't keep track of the movements I made and we got lost real fast. Let's go back west again and keep looking around for this river. A dried up riverbed. Okay, we found the river again. <laughs> we got horribly lost, but we found the river. Okay, so. Huh. South for each island the Emperor can claim. So it's either three or four. They already have... Uh, the main island and Hearthsake Island, they have... Oh, you know what? It could be a number of, of southerly ones. But you know what? At least it's, that's less that we have to worry about. So south for each island, the Emperor can claim. I'm going to go three. We're going to go south. 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 They should at least put us in about the right place, even if I'm slightly wrong. Consult the map. West for each bearer of the Emperor's name. There's definitely four of those. So we're going to go four west. 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 Okay, now what? Now head straight for the horizon, then take a step more. That's north-north, because the avid horizon is in the north. And I assume that's what they're referring to. Referring to especially because horizon is capitalized. So we go north. North. Then it says... Letting west end your search of the one, two, three. So I'm not sure if that's three steps or four steps, because four is the one that rhymes. So we'll go west, two, three, a large stone idol. Hmm, I don't think that's right. We're supposed to find an X. Let's go west again for four. We'll try going north one, south one, south one again. Because depending on the number of islands there were, it could be somewhere around here. Because there's a large stone idol here. I don't think that's what we're looking for. If we consult the map again. We found the river properly. South for the number of islands. I think, I think it's three, but I don't know exactly how many islands it is. West we know is four. Head straight for the horizon one and one. It makes sense. West one, two, three, four. So it's something... It's either more south of us, 
or we're in the right, or it's one west of us. So we've already checked west. We're just going to go south for a bit and see if we find it. If I got the wrong number of islands they could claim by not actually counting them manually. Is this it? It was a little bit more west, maybe. Ah, a marker of crossed bones. I think this is a pretty good indication here. This looks like what we're looking for. So I was wrong. It was, I guess it was five islands the Emperor could claim. And then it was four steps west, like I suspected it would be, because that's what rhymed. Well, we found it. We have a little bit of, a little bit of guesswork, but a little bit of uh, following the instructions. <laughs> Let's dig here and see what we find. Oh, no. What all did we found? We found a pot of violent ink again. Ten sapphires. Wow, that's amazing. That means we can cash in immediately and get that uh, reward from the Venturer. But we're massively over-encumbered now. Oh no. Okay, I'm gonna abandon my candles. Um, and a little bit of supplies. I don't really want to lose the candles, but we haven't used them in a long time. They're expensive, but we can afford to cash in. We have 3,000 Echoes. And I need the Zoop. At least I think I need the Zoop. I don't know if I actually need the Zoop. I need the Muter Salt, though. I need the Sooth and Copper Long Box. I need the Furkin and Prisoner's Honey. I need the Strange Catch. I need the Emer the Sapphires. And I want the Mirror Catch Boxes, because they're much more expensive. And I'd rather not get rid of all our supplies, so we're not stuck here. Interesting, though. Okay. Done. Our shovel clinks against a box. Who buried this mountain of loot here? It's not our problem. If they ever come back, they'll be sorely disappointed. We gained five Drowning Pearls, ten caskets of sapphires... And a pot of violent ink. I wonder if we can give this one back to the, uh, the curator as well. If he gives us the same reward. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. For now, we'll continue. And, uh, let's quickly sail over to the Wild Wheeled Court. We're making waves, it seems. The good kind. The guards salute us as we approach the gates. Interesting. Well, we, uh, oh, the Lightful Adventuress is still stuck there. Poor soul. Let's gather strategic information here. Hopefully nothing bad happens when we do this. Nope, we just got our strategic information. The Zeppelin is what has the Penty's full attention right now. However, dark murmurs not intended for our ears speak of unfinished business before the exodus. Of a weapon the Emperor intends to deploy against its greatest foes. That's good to know before we uh, let them build their Zeppelin. Yes. What else do we want to do here? We could trade with the Wild Wheeled Court. I don't know if we have anything we want to trade. Let's see what they have and what they want. We have Prisoner's Honey, but we don't want to give them that. That's how we can also get more Violent Ink, but we don't want that either anymore at this point. No gifts today. Hmm. Let's be a visitor in the court here. We've lost two Echoes. Oh. Oh, good. You can feel the eyes on us as we slowly trudge around the court on our inefficient human legs, constantly being pinched and poked and having our pockets picked. There's no shame in it for the apes, not even the ones we catch in the act. It just spits in our face and scampers off, making rude gestures. A pair of mandarins shake their heads at their low-souled brethren for their lack of ambition as much as anything else. Well, we lost two soul, uh, two echoes there, if not two souls, thankfully. I would imagine that we're done here, then. Hmm. Let's leave the court. Back to Port Stanton. Okay, well, we've done what we came here to do. We uh, did a little bit extra as well, murdering some pirates and finding treasure. But for now, I think we're going to uh, head away. So, thank you for watching, everyone. This has been Vanguard of Valor, playing a little bit of Sunless Sea for you. If you've enjoyed our expedition today, let me know what you thought about it in the comments below. And until next time, goodbye.